Hello and welcome to this new video in the Delta Lake and Lake House section. In this video, we will see introduction to Delta Lake. So what exactly is Delta Lake? Delta Lake is an open table format offered through an open source project. We already know what an open source concept is. This was introduced in the year 2019. So it's been five years as of 2024 where we are and it has seen tremendous amount of evolution and it is still ongoing. What can we do with the Delta Lake? We can build lake house architecture on top of Data Lake using Delta Lake. Now you should not get confused between a Data Lake and a Delta Lake. As we start implementation and learning the Delta Lake from the next video onwards, that difference will automatically be clear. Delta Lake provides you a number of benefits. Let us quickly look at them. The first one is obviously ACID compliance. Okay, we know what ACID compliance means and what benefits it offers you. Okay, which was also implemented in data warehousing. The next important thing and a unique offering is time travel. This provides you data versioning and history. This is one of, according to me, one of the game changer feature because it allows you to trace your, how your data or have a snapshot of your data for a historical version as compared to the current one. And you can also see the history of it. Now you don't need to worry how can we do it. For this, we are going to practically see how the time travel and the history works out. Okay. Moving on to the next one is uh, it offers stream and batch unification, which means that now we already know what is the difference between a batch processing and stream processing, right? We have discussed this briefly again earlier in uh, big data fundamentals. I know that we'll learn more about streaming in the future in a separate section. So a Delta Lake table could either be, uh, you know, having a source that could be used on a source side as well as a sync side, and it could be used in both batch and streaming implementations. And the most popular one is you can have upsets and deletes. Mainly we use merge statement, uh, update and delete as well. But mainly you will see merge being used for slowly changing dimensions. We have seen the implementation of the, of that in SQL, but you can also see them over here. Also CDC, which is nothing but change data capture, etc. Okay. So other benefits are mainly in terms of practical things is it supports SQL DML statements. And we are going to see this thoroughly, everything in detail in the upcoming videos. What is more important for you to understand right now, it runs on top of existing data link, okay? And it is fully compatible with Apache Spark, which we have already learned in great detail. So to conclude, Delta Lake is an abstraction layer, which is built on top of data lake, which additional, with additional features uh, offering uh, data warehouse capabilities, which gave birth to Lakehouse concept, okay? When I say abstraction, what is the meaning of ab 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 uh, abstraction? Abstraction is something which is more like a concept or an idea, okay? But maybe it doesn't uh, exist in practical, okay? So you will understand this when we start creating and uh, using Delta Lake features. For now, that's it in this video. See you in the next one with the practicals.